Yeah. <laughs> I think she's ready. How about you? Are you ready for some good news? Now you're over here, you're changing my shot. All right, if that's where you want to be. Hey, first up, a tiny prosthesis could restore sight to the visually impaired. Engineers at UC San Diego and Nanovision Biosciences are developing a nano implant intended to restore lost sight by mimicking the retina's own cells. The implant consists of an array of nanowires which produce an electrical current when hit by light, stimulating the cells in the retina the same way natural photoreceptors do. The device is powered wirelessly through an electrical signal that it also uses to send and receive data, which makes this implant not only small, but also energy efficient. The implant still needs quite a bit of work before it's ready for human patients, but the developers tested it on a degenerated rat retina. The retina was able to interface with the implant and the researchers confirmed that the array of nanowires was responding to light exposure like an array of photoreceptors. More research is necessary, but so far, so good. The study on this nanowire retinal prosthesis is published in the Journal of Neural Engineering. Well, now you're back on this side, but you're too low. Here, what about this? There, now people can see you. See? Isn't that nice? Anyway, next up, a new study finds that... Hi. A new study finds that those at risk for dementia can improve their odds by drinking tea. The study, conducted by a team at the National University of Singapore, found that among people aged 55 and older, regular tea drinkers were significantly less likely to experience cognitive decline than non-tea drinkers. In fact, the risk of cognitive decline was reduced by 50% overall. Participants in the study who were genetically predisposed to develop Alzheimer's disease were found to receive the most benefit from tea drinking, their risk of developing Alzheimer's was cut by 86%. The data for the study was collected from 2003 to 2010 from a group of 1,000 Chinese people all aged 55 or older. The researchers studied multiple varieties of tea and found that it didn't make a difference. All resulted in the same neuroprotective effect. So have a cup of tea. Someday your brain may thank you. I mean, not literally, you are your brain, it's not its own, you know what I mean. The study is published in the Journal of Nutrition, Health, and Aging. And finally, a new drug currently undergoing clinical trials can cut cholesterol levels in half. The drug is called Inclyceron. It works by silencing a gene found to be responsible for elevated cholesterol levels. And perhaps most incredible of all, this drug only needs to be taken twice a year. A recently published clinical trial found that patients who received a single dose of Inclyceron had as much as a 51% drop in their levels of low-density lipoprotein, also known as LDL, or the bad cholesterol that can lead to heart disease. Everyone in the study who received Inclyceron rather than a placebo had their LDL levels drop, and they remained low for at least eight months following the treatment. More research is necessary before this drug can be made available to the public, but if its ability to lower LDL levels is confirmed to lead to a reduced risk of heart attack or stroke, that would be very good news indeed. For some patients, treating their high cholesterol could someday become as easy and effective as getting a flu shot. This study was conducted by researchers at Imperial College London and was published in the New England Journal of Medicine. And now you're back over there. Can you just stay there? Hey, can you just stay there for like 20 seconds while I wrap this up, please? Thank you very much. Anyway, so a new nano implant could potentially restore sight to the blind. Research finds that a regular cup of tea can significantly reduce the risk of developing dementia, and a new drug can reduce high cholesterol levels by as much as half with just a single dose. That's the good news. I mean, you're really screwing up my whole thing here. I'm going to have to put the text on the other side of the frame now because I'm over on this side. It's, 
so much trouble. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also, please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash Steve Shives to become a patron of this channel. Thanks again ever so much for watching, and we will see you next time. So how was that? Are you happy with that? No answer.